Hi everyone, welcome back to Cricket Bat Info. If you're a new viewer, this is not what I normally do. I do a lot of Cricket Bat reviews and there's a ton on the channel. Look in the playlist, go to the main channel page. Uh, there's an intro there explaining everything. And um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the channel. There's lots of information there, including information on bat preparation, bat knocking, repairing, uh, basic things like that. Uh, but what we have here today, the history of this bat is that it was given to me by HR Sports. Um, and it was a fully engraved bat uh, with Cricket Bat Info and my name on the back of it. Um, but it was 2.11 and a, and a bit, and I'm sort of a 2.8 sort of player. I'm old, middle was too low for me. Um, so I spoke to Harby, uh, the owner, and I said, look, um, this is too low for me, but I'd like to do something with it. He gave it to me as a um, thank you for inspiring him to create HR Sports and he also sent me these lovely gloves which are pitard gloves and I'd like to do something with this instead of just have it sitting there doing nothing or selling it. So this is going to be the giveaway bat to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, hence 10 which is the Roman numeral for 10,000 which you'll find in the video. So this video actually goes through the process of how I created the stickers and put them on using a laser cutter. It was hinted at, if you go to the YouTube channel, look at the HR Sports um, playlist, you've got three videos there already. The first video is when I reviewed one of the bats, a Griffin Pro Edition. And the second video is um, the actual video where I am given the bat and uh, the gloves. The last video I did is which I actually went through the process of actually scooping the bat uh, and explaining uh, what I was going to do. I had some different stickers on it, but I didn't like those. Um, so I spoke to HR and I said, look, can, you, uh, can, can we do this? Are you happy with that? And he said, yes. So he sent me the graphics and you'll see me actually uh, amend those graphics and on some software called Lightburn Studio with my actual laser cutter, Totem S CNC laser cutter. I can't remember what I paid for it, um, but that's the one there if you're looking for the, the same model. And I'd actually done this uh, type of thing before for somebody at my cricket club. I've used that as a template for this. Designed them obviously uh, different, which is what you can see here. So you've got the sticker and you've also got the scooping on the back and the Cricket Bat Info sticker. Uh, the bat is fully knocked and scuffed. We uh, tap it up for you so you can see that it's actually fully knocked in. So that just needs play in and it's ready to go to whoever wins the contest. Now the contest conditions, now I cannot afford to actually uh, pay freight overseas. It just wipes me out for more than a month. Uh, I don't make a lot of money on this channel, it's actually just a hobby. Um, so if you want to enter it, you have to wear any overseas costs. I'm quite prepared to post within Australia, uh, but you'll have to uh, cover the difference on those costs. which. You know, within Australia it might be 20 bucks. Whatever's over 20 bucks, you'll have to cover that. If you're not prepared to do that, don't enter it. Now, the, the rules for the contest uh, will simply be as follows. Like the video, comment on why you want to win the bat and that you're prepared to pay the excess shipping costs if you're overseas. Uh, and make sure you're a subscriber. If you meet all those three conditions, when we actually hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll do the draw and announce the, the winner of the bat, and that will be that. It's just so simple. Thank you very much, Harvey, for providing this. You'll also get the gloves. These are right-handed gloves, so that will be it. We'll get on with the video now. It's a very long video. It goes through the entire process of designing the stickers from scratch and um, placing them on. It's not a cheap process to make stickers this way. This is not a business opportunity for me. I don't want to be contacted, can you make me stickers? It was just purely an opportunity to show what I purchased um, some time ago. And it also shows just how much work is actually involved with making custom stickers for people uh, if you're starting out. Not something I would encourage. Um, Labor and Wood make stickers this way. I know Mad Cricket did it before that. Uh, and I do say to you, you know, they charge $30, I think it's $30 uh, New Zealand to do it. It's 
took me so much time just to create these stickers that whatever they want to charge, just pay that cost because if you try to do this on your own, uh, it will uh, cost you way more than that. So we'll get on with the video. Hope you enjoy it and uh, good luck to whoever wins the bat. The bat there and I want to make some of my own stickers for it. So I've got here a uh, Two Trees Totem S. I purchased, I think in 2020, you know, one of those COVID purchases that you make that you sort of go, why did I do that? I was just bored and yeah, that's what this is. Do it as a little bit of a hobby thing on the side. Just yesterday, I uh, made some stickers uh, for this. It's actually just the back of a painting. I threw the frame away and took the hard uh, backing and uh, just made some little framing points so that this thing doesn't move around. Now it always goes back to a home position, which is up in that top uh, right corner. And I've got some software that I can use to actually design the stickers and carve them out onto some stuff. So I'll just quickly reach over and show you what I've got. These stickers, normally you would use a vinyl cutter. And the reason is because the laser, when it melts the vinyl, um, it creates chlorine gas and that's not really good for you. So I've bought these little sheets and I'll probably hold that up for you there. Those have just come from AliExpress, cost me like $6 each. And I think they're like one meter or something. And they're basically car uh, film that you can put on um, cars. So that one's got a, a um, carbon fiber look to it. Uh, there's a gray one here got some green, lighter grey. I went through and bought all different ones. I tried to make my own sort of stickers. You can see obviously I did the one that's on the table uh, and I also did the one that's on the display stand for the cricket bats, that's just that yellow one there. Even though you cut the actual um, stickers out of this stuff, you still have to have a way of lifting and removing the bits that you cut off. So I went and bought all the little bits of tools uh, off the internet um, the same crazy time. So in there's some tools for, for lifting off stickers and that's some clear vinyl transfer tape. So you will see me use that during this video. And I've got some special cutting software here uh, that goes with this particular laser cutter uh, and it's called Lightburn. It allows me to pick out a design and um, use that design to cut some stickers. So I actually designed some stickers for a guy from uh, the cricket club. Um, I've just recently adjusted the size of my uh, stickers that I can actually do because of the size of the cutting bed that I've put on the system. So uh, if I was gonna cut this, I'd have to bring this in. Uh, so I'm sort of restricted to how big the, the stickers can be, but that was a sticker that I made and um, put on his bat and then his bat broke. So that was really handy. But now the thing about the laser cutting is, is that distance between the segments that come out. So the Y, the R, the B, uh, all of that stuff that comes out, you can't get really too finite with it. Is If it's too fine, I actually have to pull all those little cuts out. Uh, with little fine tools, spikes on it to just sort of lift out everything that's cut. Um, so that's the whole point of this. Whatever I design has to be something that's fairly simple that I can lift out. Now I can put something underneath it. So put one sticker on top of another sticker to create a two-tone color effect. Uh, but I actually like it when it's just the, the sticker on top with the insert cut out and it's just the wood underneath. So that's what I'm gonna be going for is something pretty basic. Middle parts here, center. And delete that. And do the same here. That's gonna be basically my template. Now I don't really want the stickers to go over the width of the bat. So I'll use my calipers to actually measure exactly how wide they're gonna be. If I went 100, it would just work, so 10 centimeters. So each one of these little squares here is um, a centimeter or 10 millimeters. So all I have to do is put this 
template in the center of them and count down how many I've got. That's a little bit, yeah, and see it automatically adjusts the, the template for me. Mm -hmm. You can see I had actually a different shape here, uh, but once I put some oil on you might even notice. Um, now, HR did send me uh, their logo, that's it there. Now, I can tell immediately that's gonna be way too difficult to, to actually do. So what I've got to do is trace that image. All right, so there's an image here and then there's the line. I don't want the image, so I can just come over here and get rid of that. So that just gives me my basic outline. Now I can actually the here and select it again and delete that. I do feel there's too much going on here. So I want that off around the edge and that extra little one in there thing. So we'll just go something like that. We'll even take out this, yeah, that's gone. So that's what we're gonna do. And now we can rotate that and put it on its side. It will tell you when you're in the center of, oh no, it doesn't, I thought it did. So if I was to put that there, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so that that laser work doesn't become a pain for me and I don't wanna to go too close to the edges. So I'm sort of coming down here. There's actually a rotation thing up the top there in these controls here. Okay, so then I can grab that and put that down in here. And we'll chuck that somewhere around the same spot. Let's ask Google. Roman numeral for 10,000. It's an X. And rotate it around. Let's do something. I want to just do that. The X. C, V. 10,000. So that's my stickers. Now I'm going to bring this one up a bit. Actually, I'm going to group that together now and group that one together and just bring this one up. I don't want it too close that I can't lift it out. That one there, which is really dark, I think it looks really uh, cool. So I've designed this so I can lift this out and then put it straight back in with this um, thing that tells me exactly where the center is. So these are little rare earth magnets and I've put, glued down some magnetic stuff here. So what I've got to do is basically get this across here And now what I've got to do with this is try and get these folds out of here before I cut. My little tools to uh, flatten it out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and flatten these out towards the edge. Paint it in super strong rare earth magnets. Place the bed inside its little area here and then just stick it there and that's ready to go. Plug the USB in and turn on the power. Calibrate the laser by just putting this guide in and lifting the laser so that the actual cube goes straight under it. And once that's been achieved, your laser is fully calibrated. You frame that, so that's actually working out exactly how big 
it needs to cut. In, there's actually a little cross that you can't see. Uh, and I think it's bottom left of it. So that's all well within the framework. That little bed is designed so that it raises it up so it doesn't burn through the, 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 the back of it. So I've got my little just switch back to the software and we'll have a look at the cuts. So we're not doing the image. We can actually uh, delete that. I'll just turn it off. So it's 100% power at 33% speed and it says three passes so it's going to cut three times. So I'm just going to try to Two passes. Now, before I can do anything, I've got to um, put on my green glasses. So next time you see me, I look really cool, but that just protects my eyes. And I've also got to put a little fan on that I've got here to the side uh, that just blow the air away from me for a bit. Yeah, I think it'd be fine. And I'll switch you back so you can see it happening. There you go. So through these green cool glasses, everything looks black and white to me at the moment. That actually has quite a strong smell to it. So I'm just going to turn that up a little bit. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, those glasses. So the first thing that won't be used is obviously uh, this area here. So that's how good that's actually cut, that I can just pull that straight off. So that's pretty cool. There we go, that's it, done. Transfer tape. I think it was actually quite expensive. Uh, so, you know, creating these, these actual stickers is not actually cheap. Okay. So all you actually have to do with the transfer tape is place it on top of the sticker and rub the sticker off. I've been whinging about every other bastard who gets their stickers. Can't get them straight. Let's see if I can actually manage it myself today. Hold on. Okay, so what we've got to do now is flatten this on. So I've had to just slightly modify it. When I did the measurements for the back of the bat, I didn't take into account the the arch of the spine and therefore didn't measure it correctly so I've redesigned it as you can see it up there and now it's cutting as we speak we try a second time to put this sticker on okay that's done now directly in front of me okay and whatever it is now is whatever it is with my hands in order to loosen it so that it would peel off Go this way Of 
this so you don't want to peel the grains up as well. Ta-da! I'm pretty happy with that. Not bad. Thanks to the magic of television, um, you haven't seen the last hour of me stuffing around only to realise I didn't plug the power in on the laser printer and that's why it wasn't working. Design, and uh, I'll hit start. Continue, yes, and you can watch that. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna basically leave it so that it's roughly a few millimeters from the edge, like that. And it's something different, so, yeah. Now you know why I bought a laser printer, just so I could do something different. The other cool thing about when you lift off the transfer tape is it takes off any imperfections or burns in the sticker. HR Sports, now what I wanna do which is not in the same colour cricket bat info sticker down the bottom that I got made. I think I pay about $25 to $30 for about 30 stickers, so they cost me about a dollar each. Slide it that way. Yeah, there you go. That's the HR Sports scoop. That will be given away. Something different, something for free obviously. There's obviously going to be black on the um, grip up here, so it's just going to be red and black, but I think it looks different and something uh, cool. So I've got to put some uh, scuff tape on that and some edge tape and that's the bat ready for uh, the new owner and um, so that's been me um, showing you how I make stickers and this will be the bat that will be given to the eventual winner and it will come with the gloves which I'll just get out nice quality uh, obviously they're pro quality uh, gloves and uh, whoever you are, hopefully you'll be very happy with the combination of red on your bat and red on your gloves and some green.